DJ's got an easy job, hasn't he? Um, I am, um, I am nervous. Um, I, I want to clear up two things. Um, number one, I'm not going to do any magic. <laughs> and number two, I don't work for EasyJet. <laughs> Just, uh, good, get out of here early. Good first laugh, good, I like it. Um, I am a nervous person, um, plus I've got IBS. Uh, the combination of the two for me is a load of shit. <laughs> It's true, it's true. Um, I, um, I, uh, yeah, I have, yeah. What? Um, okay. Uh, I've, I'm new to comedy, so I thought I'd um, try observational comedy. I thought I'd go down to my local pub and watch people, observe people, what they do. So um, I went in, sat down, and uh, the skeezer said to me, Your blood, can I help you? He was in his right, I shouldn't have sat on his lap, to be honest. It was too close, it was too close. If you're going to watch somebody, always from a distance, uh, that advice is free. It's the night vision goggles that will cost you. Um, I, I'm proud to say I'm from South East London. Anybody else from South East London? Yay. I'm proud of you as well. You made it out alive. Not many of us did. Well played. Uh, it was a rough place to grow up. There were muggers, drug dealers, my brother. No, I love my brother. To his face. Um, he's not it, it's fine. Uh, and then there was me. I was like a soft, fluffy Andrex puppy skipping down the Gaza Strip. I got a lot of abuse, to be honest. They used to shout, You're a pussy! And I used to say, You are what you eat. <laughs> I've also been called a cock, so don't be too much into that. Uh, I'm not so proud to say that I was educated in South East London. I was chasing the GCSE just like anybody else. Uh, I say chasing it, um, I was trying to spell it, so... Uh, school wasn't easy for me, I was bullied every day for 11 years. They used to say things like, Rob the knob, milky bar kid. And the quite clever, oh, my makes a laugh in there, that one is. Um, and then uh, the quite clever, not with it, with it. I never had a comeback for that, that's quite clever, bad be there. Um, I mean, I call them bullies, you probably call them teachers. Um, um, I uh, recently split up with my girlfriend. Wow. Yeah, she said it was a mutual split. Um, she sat me down and said, uh, Robert! <laughs> Robert! <laughs> she talks like that as well. It was never gonna work. Robert! I don't want you for a second to think this is about you. <laughs> Not about you. It is. It, it, it is you, actually. It is you. It was always you. Which was hard to take, to be honest. And it was, it was even harder because she's so perfect and so beautiful. And uh, she was way out of my league. It was never going to work. Um, in terms of leagues, she was Arsenal and I was just an arse. Yeah. Um, so she said I need to be more mature. She said that I need to, um, I need to get into more mature subjects like pensions or mortgages. So I did, uh, you know, um, did you know the word mortgage? It's got a T in it. <laughs> Who knew, huh? That was a crazy world we live in, yeah. Uh, but I, I'm trying to grow up, I wanted to prove her wrong, so I thought I'd get out there, I'd get out there, you know what I did? You know what I did? I got out there and I got myself a nectar card. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, ain't you? Um, are nectar cards the reason that bees are dying out? <laughs> Is that... Is that? No? Okay. Anyway, so I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd grow up a little bit. I started watching the news, which was depressing. Um, but I, I, everyone seems to be into politics at the moment. It seems to be the up thing. So um, I thought I'd follow a party. I didn't want to go for the obvious ones, you know. So I went for up and coming, exciting. New kid. They're exciting. New. Yeah, so I thought I'd start following. Well, their policies are so easy to remember, aren't they? Policy one, piss everybody off. <laughs> Policy two, see above. Easy. <laughs> So anyway, I went down to their offices. This is how, how dedicated I am to being more mature. I went down to their offices and got a job in their office. Yeah, it was exciting, yeah. I didn't last long. Um, I got the sack for falling asleep at my desk. You'd think with a name like UKIP, they'd encourage it. <laughs> um, so I am trying to be more mature. My, fr my friends are more mature than me. Um, my friend had a baby recently, and, uh, and uh, I said to him, well, that comes with pressure, doesn't it? Yeah, responsibilities. Um, how do you name a baby? You have a baby, you've got to name it, job one. And he said to me, I did it the easy way, mate. 
got the name, baby name book, opened it up, shut my eyes, worked out really well. Page 48 was born last week. <laughs> uh, that's about my time, but I'm going to leave you with one educational fact. It's quite common, you've probably heard it before. In London, you are never more than three feet away from a twat. <laughs> I've been Robert Willis, thank you very much.